Hi everybody, welcome to Stamping All Night Long with Wanda Smith. Our latest paper pumpkin kit from September 2016 came with everything you need to make these cute 16 treat tubes. As you can see, they have candy there. My treat tubes don't have candy. My treats are these brads that we used to sell a few years ago because if I was to buy candy for this video, the leftover candy, you know what's going to happen with it. I was going to eat it and that wasn't going to happen. Anyway, seeing this kit, I immediately thought of test tube holder that I had seen around five or six years ago. I think it was Lisa Somerville who made a video. So I thought this would be the perfect time to make an updated video for the test tube treats. So let me get this out of the way and let's get started on making them. We're going to be using um, the Simply Scored Scoring Tool that's found in the annual catalog on page 185. And I'm going to give you the dimensions later on. To All you have to do is click on my um, the link on the blog and you'll get all the dimensions and all the materials used. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about writing it down right away. I'll have it all set out for you. Um, anyway, we're going to start with a piece of 4 by 11 inch cardstock. And I put my placeholders on there already. And we're going to, our first score line, let me do this sideways, um, a little angle there. Our first score line is going to be at half an inch. Whoops, went off, don't worry about that. I told you I needed to angle it a little. One, um, so that was our half an inch mark, now one and three quarter inch. Four and a quarter inch. And five and a half. And this was at the landscape position. Now we're going to turn it around into the portrait position. And in the portrait position, we're going to score it at one and a quarter. And at two and three quarters. Now we're going to bring it back to the landscape position. And what we're going to do is score at eight inches only up to the first score line. We're going to skip over the middle and then continue down. So we're going to score it at 8 inches, but we're going to skip the middle part there. Okay, we're done with our scoring. Now we have to do some cutting. So let's get this out of the way. And we're going to cut all the score lines except for the up to the or up to the middle. So just cut them all. And, oops, here we go. I'm going to go to the other side before we continue with the rest. Okay, let me bring this back so that you can see what we're doing. Whoops. Okay, this part over here is going to be the back. So we're going to cut these sides off. Just cut it right along the, the score marks. And this really comes together fairly quickly as you can see. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to need some flaps um, to tuck in. So you're just going to come here and go in the middle and cut to the score line in the corner. Come in the middle over here and angle it and cut to the score line. Don't worry what it looks like. Um, those flaps are hidden, but we just need them so that we can tuck that in. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a couple of minutes when we get to that part. So you're going to do that on um, both sides. And one more. Come to the middle and angle out to the side to the score line. And there we go. Move this out of the way. And now we're gonna start folding. Let's get let's crease all those fold lines. Let's start out here first. And one more. Now we're gonna fold them in. Fold in. And 
And these over here I forgot to cut off, but you cut these flaps off also. And there we go. Now before putting this together, our test tubes measure about half an inch, a little bit more than half an inch. So I took the three quarter inch circle punch and we're going to punch a hole in the middle here because that's where the test tube is going to go into. Okay, got that out of the way. Now we're going to use tear tape adhesive so that we can um, put this together. And we're going to put this down here. You can also, if you don't have the tear tape, one of my other favorite tapes that's very strong, or not tape, but adhesive, is the Tombo Multipurpose Glue, or a lot of people call it the green glue because it comes in a green um, bottle, but you can use that also. And I should have, because this is all getting all crooked, but that's fine. And cut the piece off. And that's the only adhesive we need to put this box together. You'll see how easy it is to put together. Get the tape off. Move that out of the way. And now we're going to bring it up like this. These flaps over here, just fold them in. Bring this up, stand it up. Or let me do it this way so that you can see it better. Bring it in. Make sure they're even. And they're done already. It's already um, glued. Now bring these flaps in. Fold this down. Basically, that's it. Test tube fits in there. Now all you have to do is decorate it. I decorated with um, cardstock, then I used some designer series paper. I'll give you those measurements also in my blog, on the link to my blog. This was part of the stamp set that came with the kit. A sunflower and the inside part. So it's easy to make. You can decorate it for any occasion and it holds your test tube treats up so that people can display it. So try it. It's really easy, really nice. And like I said, everything will be in the link to my blog. You get all the measurements. So subscribe to my channel, like this video, and subscribe to my blog so that you won't miss anything. And thank you for visiting Stamping All Night Long. Have a good time and see you next time.